we ended the previous video with a question. Why does methane give us a blue flame without any soot? And why does wood burn with a yellow flame with soot? Let us try finding out the answers. There are two important perspectives here. One is about what compound is undergoing combustion and the other is the way in which the burning process takes place. Let us talk about the first case. When I say what compound undergoes combustion, we would say hydrocarbon. That's correct and obvious too. But here we are trying to talk about the type of hydrocarbon. That means whether it's a saturated or an unsaturated hydrocarbon. Saturated hydrocarbons have a single covalent bond between all the carbon atoms. On the other hand, unsaturated hydrocarbons have at least one double or triple bond between the carbon atoms. We know that methane is a saturated hydrocarbon. And what type of flame is seen on burning methane? Yes, it's clear blue coloured flame. So are we trying to say that saturated hydrocarbons burn with a clear blue flame? Yes. And why is that? Combustion is a process in which the oxygen atoms break through the carbon bonds. That means newer bonds will be formed along with the breaking of older ones. As a result, carbon dioxide and water are formed along with energy liberation. So in case of saturated hydrocarbon, the oxygen atoms are able to break the bonds very easily. That is because there are only single bonds that exist. However, in case of unsaturated hydrocarbons, the same number of oxygen atoms will be unable to break the carbon bonds easily. It's because the efforts needed for breaking double or triple bonds will be greater. So it is the presence of single or double and triple bonds between the carbon units that result in blue or yellow flames respectively. Now let us talk about the next perspective. What type of combustion is taking place? In the same example that we mentioned a while ago, if you notice, I said that same amount of oxygen is insufficient to break the double and triple bonds, remember? That means the same number of oxygen atoms that were used to break bonds in the saturated compound prove insufficient for breaking the bonds in the unsaturated one. This clearly indicates that the oxidation process is not completed. Wait, what is oxidation by the way? Well. Here the term refers to the burning of the compound in the presence of oxygen. So in the case where the oxidation of the hydrocarbon is not completed, it will give us a yellow sooty flame. But our second example was that of burning wood. So what is the connection between these points? Well, wood burns very rapidly. That means the upper surface in contact with air burns too quickly. As a result, it becomes difficult for oxygen to reach the deeper layers and thus incomplete combustion results in yellow flame with soot. Let me give you another example. Have you ever noticed the gas burners in kitchens? They usually burn with a clean blue flame. But as the burners get older, the gas starts burning with a yellow flame. Not only this, it also gives out thick black soot which spoils the bottom of the vessel. Have you ever wondered why this happens? Yes. The only answer for this is the complete and the incomplete combustion process. When the gas burner gets old, its air holes get clogged. As a result, all the oxygen needed to burn the fuel does not reach it. That is the reason why we start getting yellow sooty flames. It clearly indicates inefficient use of fuel. To conclude this, let us review the reasons for obtaining blue and yellow flames again. When do we obtain a blue clear flame? Yes, we obtain it either when a saturated hydrocarbon is burnt or when there is complete combustion of the compound. In contrast to this, a yellow flame with soot is obtained when the hydrocarbons are unsaturated or when there is incomplete combustion of the compound. Now this was about the combustion reaction of hydrocarbons. Can you tell me the next one from our list? Yes. It's the oxidation reaction. Let us learn more about it in the upcoming videos.